Hi, I'm Peter Quintel with Denison Yachting, and today I'd like to take you on a tour of Imagine, a 2018 Hatteras M75 Panacera. Come on, let's take a look. Imagine is hole number nine of the M75 Panacera series. This was built for a very particular owner who really likes a modern contemporary feel. To the best of my knowledge, she is the most modern built Hatteras motor yacht to date. What I really love about this yacht is she has a nice West Hampton beach house feel throughout the interior. She has a four stateroom layout with three heads and a day head, along with two separate crew cabins. Standing here in the salon area with an open galley floor plan, you'll notice nothing but water around you. One of my favorite features on this yacht is the stern. She has a Euro style transom with port and starboard accesses up to the aft deck. Once you're up on the aft deck, you'll notice a large seating area for dining up to eight. Another great area of the yacht is the bow area. It has a very large recessed sun pad with adjacent port and starboard sun pads. Transitioning from the stern to the bow, you'll notice the deep wide walk arounds that this vessel has. Having showed you a lot of the features that I really love about this yacht, I'm gonna hand this off to Ryan because I know there's a lot of great features he really loves about this yacht he'd like to point out. We're gonna get things started on the upper deck all the way aft on the flybridge where we find an open entertaining space. Back here we find a large lounging area with removable furniture found aft on the port side. In this area, we have two different cooking and storage modules. First, there's a gas grill in the middle of the space. And then there's a two burner electric cooktop found forward on the port side. Now let's continue forward and take a look at our semi-enclosed flybridge. With polycarbonate glass panels found on every side of the flybridge, this area is air conditioned and it serves as the boat's mission control when you're underway. This means that on the days when you're entertaining guests, they can jump in on the action of running the boat or escaping the summer heat. First, they can stop by a substantial wet bar. They can grab a cold drink or they can sit down to watch the game. With an over-under fridge freezer, stainless sink, and natural stone countertops, this three-seater bar is perfect for intimate nights. Looking to port, we see a 15-foot long settee that seats up to 10. Just in front of the seating are a pair of cocktail tables with stone tops. Found all the way forward and off to the starboard side, we arrive at the main helm. Facing the helm are a pair of upgraded, adjustable pompanet helm seats. As far as navigation electronics, first we see three Garmin 8617 multifunction displays. Outboard of these into starboard is a Garmin Autopilot, and an RD33 data organizer. Looking below and to the left, we see a switch panel with stop-start controls for the engines, bilge pumps, as well as light switches. And then continuing to starboard, there are a pair of VHF radios just above a Hatcon ship systems computer and a cat engine display. Also found in this area are bow and stern thruster joysticks, a FLIR night vision camera control, and a control for the Optimus EPS steering system. And then finally, on the starboard side of the wheel is a searchlight control, ABT track stabilizer control panel, as well as engine throttles. From the helm, let's jump outside and down to Imagine's hydraulic swim platform, accessed by way of a Euro transom. This upgraded swim platform can be utilized as a sizable floating beach or for tender storage. As you see it, with no tender chocks, you can spread out down here and enjoy being on the water line with your water toys. Shore power hookups can be found to both port and starboard, just above the deck. Looking forward, we see that there's a shower integrated into the transom that's located right next to a watertight crew access door. Now let's jump to the other side of this door and take a look at the crew space. Because this yacht is easy enough for an owner-operator to run, the crew lounge has been converted into a storage area with a chest freezer, under-counter fridge, and a microwave. Immediately forward of this is the smallest of two crew cabins with a single berth, 
storage, and a TV. Directly across from here in the companionway is a second crew cabin, this one larger than the last. Both of these cabins share an ensuite with a shower stall. Passing a built-in stainless ladder with access up to the aft deck, our next stop is the engine room, found immediately forward of the crew space. In here we find her twin Caterpillar C32 Acer 1600 horsepower engines. Aft of the engines are twin 29 kilowatt Cummins Onan generators. Another great feature I want to point out is this 1800 gallon a day Dometic water maker. When Imagine is underway, she benefits greatly from a fin stabilized ride and effortless cruising capability that make her a dream yacht for anyone looking to spend a significant amount of time on board and underway. And not only is she loaded with the best of the best in terms of mechanical equipment, but her pedigreed builder has put significant thought into the entertaining spaces found throughout the yacht. One such area you can appreciate the second you step on board is the aft deck. Heading up just five steps from the swim platform, we arrive at an area that's protected by an extended molded hardtop. I also want to point out that this space is raised rather high above the water for a 75 footer, which gives you great visibility. Centerline is an alfresco dining space for up to eight guests with seating arranged around a high gloss teak table. Looking forward on the port side of the cockpit is a wet bar with isotherm cold storage beneath. Above the bar, we see a TV where you can throw on a movie at sunset. Right next to this is an important feature of Imagine, a port side aft helm. From this position, the captain has access to the engine controls as well as bow and stern thruster controls. Over on the other side of the aft deck are the wide, upgraded teak steps of the molded staircase where we have access to the flybridge. The teak found on the staircase also continues underfoot, giving the area a sharp and timeless feel. Finally, notice how large the molded hardtop is and how much coverage it offers. This ensures that the area is usable at virtually any time because it's been outfitted with plenty of LED lighting, JL audio speakers, and the first of many CCTV cameras. From here, let's take the side decks forward towards the bow. Making our way that direction, notice how the dark windows stretch down the entire side of the yacht's superstructure. These signal what you can expect when we step into the interior in just a few minutes. After you've made your way to the foredeck, you see that this area serves two purposes. First, your guests have access to my favorite bow in this size range. Molded into the deckhouse is a king-size sun lounge that can accommodate up to four guests. Set up with custom back cushions, a great sound system, and a cocktail table, this is a perfect place to get away. Two smaller sun pads can be seen outboard, each with its own area for staging refreshments. This area also serves as an important space for the crew, as this is where we find a Maxwell 3500 windlass that draws a 110-pound polished plow anchor. When you're moving to and from the bow, you can do so with confidence because of the safe feeling that this boat offers. Having departed the foredeck, we'll next take a look at her interior. Entering the salon through a sliding door, we're greeted by an interior that feels vastly different from any other Hatteras that I've been inside of. Starting aft into port, we see storage above a marble countertop with an ice maker and bottle storage below. Just forward of this is an electrically actuated 50-inch TV that's tied into the salon's surround sound system. This brings us to the main deck dayhead on the port side that benefits from a large window. Looking now to the starboard side aft, she has a floor-to-ceiling cabinet that houses the heart of the salon's entertainment package and a concealed wine cooler. This is just feet from a large L-shaped sofa that backs up to the galley. The seating is in the same area as an ottoman and a designer armchair. Moving on, now we're going to take a look at Imagine's atrium galley. The magic of this yacht is accented by the light that pours in through huge windows found wrapping around and overhead of you when you're inside on the main deck. The galley is configured around a huge centerline island, 
Here, a wrapping stone countertop rests above a full-size dishwasher and two Gen Air cold drawers. And then wrapping around the island is a matching stone countertop and the remaining appliances. She's equipped with a four burner Miele induction cooktop and there's a Miele microwave convection oven found just below. The galley is also equipped with a deep stainless vessel sink with storage above and below. Also notice that next to the sink is a pantograph door on the starboard side of the galley with side deck access. And then the bulk of the galley cold storage is found on the port side in this sub-zero fridge freezer. Forward of the galley, you have dining for up to 10 people. This is a great space for large families when they're vacationing together. The way that the windows in all directions connect the galley and the dining space is amazing. To the port side of the galley is a wide, stone-finished staircase with access to the lower level. Then the yacht's GFIs and manual breakers for these systems can be found behind cabinet doors as we make our way below the main deck. Reaching the landing brings us to the lower guest companionway where we can step directly into a full beam, 21 foot wide master stateroom. Entering this aftmost stateroom, we see a room flooded by light through four large horizontal hull windows with drawer storage found beneath. Centerline, we see a comfortable king-size bed with mirrored storage to either side. To port in the master is the entrance into a walk-in cedar-lined closet. Looking to the forward bulkhead, our eyes pass a wall-mounted TV that's right next to the entrance into this cabin's ensuite. This ensuite, like the others, is finished with marble and a modern vanity. Opposite the vanity is a large shower stall. Leaving the master and stepping into the companionway, we see an open door to starboard. Behind this door is the second guest cabin. She has a full queen berth underneath a hull window and plenty of storage for extended voyages. On the forward bulkhead is direct access to a shared head and shower. Opposite the shared head entrance is a closet equipped with a stacked washer and dryer. Across the hall from this guest accommodation is stateroom three, which has side-by-side -side berths, center line storage, and a hole window above each bed. And then heading all of the way forward in the lower companionway brings us to the VIP cabin. There's wardrobe storage to both port and starboard, as well as access to a private ensuite. On behalf of the entire Denison team, Peter Quintel and myself, Ryan Alexander, thank you so much for joining us on today's walkthrough of this 75 Hatteras. If you'd like to see her in person, or if you have any more questions, you can reach out to Peter anytime.